And this appeal should be had, had, be handled better. You see, there are rules that must be observed. We must strengthen multi party in our country. If you are elected in a, on a particular party's ticket or a coalition, you actually are basically uh, uh, co confined to serve that party for that five years uh, uh, mandate. If in the middle of that period you feel dissatisfied with that party, the one to cross the floor, then of course it is a democratic right. But the, the rules have been that you resign, you go back to the electorate and seek a fresh mandate from the electorate. This is what you are saying. So we are saying those members who don't want to be in ODM are free. They have their democratic rights to move to wherever they want to move. But allow us and our supporters an opportunity to test your popularity. Let us then also have another candidate to replace you. Next. My name is David Muthoka from KTN. And yesterday you released a dossier on the G2G deal, oil deal that the government is in. And you termed it as a grand scam. Hours later, the government through the energy minister and the majority leader came out to say that the deal is above board. And even saying that what you presented to Kenyans was hot air and nothing but uh, cheap propaganda. Do you still believe uh, that the government uh, and that G2G deal is a grand scam? Elaborate and uh, maybe offer a response to what the leaders had to say uh, over your dossier. Well, uh, I don't know whether those people who responded had an opportunity to read what I'd, say, I'd, 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 I'd said. Because it was a very comprehensive statement which gave clear facts. And I challenged the government to contradict what I'd said. These other ones basically just talk and say hot air. I don't know which hot air where that guy is, is coming from. And this is supposed to be majority leader of government. I think, you know, the, the matter was, refer, was directed at the executive, not at the legislature. So it is not work of Ms. Uh, Mr. Chungwa to respond. I, I, I directed it to the people. But um, be that as it may, uh, we'll show him some political etiquette, uh, the issues are raised and they're still valid. I want the government to show the memorandum of understanding that they've signed, signed between the government of the Republic of Kenya and the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the government of the United Arab Emirates. not signed between the Minister for Energy and the uh, CEO of uh, uh, Aramco, just, uh, just a, a company, that G2G, because they call this G2G. G2G means that it's an agreement between those governments and Kenya government. Let us see that MOU. Two, let them also show us tax returns. Uh, which uh, uh, as a result of this importation of this oil, how much tax has been paid by these companies, these shadowy companies that have been appointed to handle this cargo, this deal. Okay. And then show us also supplier purchase agreement. Let us see that. Then tell us why EPRA boss, I mean Kipto, was, was involved in the negotiations of this contract, yet he's the one also who is here fixing prices. Uh, if that is not corruption, I don't know what corruption is. Uh, we, uh, those are very valid questions that I want this government to answer. Thank you. Excellency, with the indulgence, we have two questions, then we wind up the session. 
I'm Chris Owino from Ramogi TV. I've got two questions. The first question